Hi everybody, what's up? Another week, another deep dive video. Let's roll the intro. For those of you who just tuned in, Deep Dive is a video series that gives you the possibility to choose from my longboard clips on Instagram the clip that I'm gonna be diving deep into. I'll be explaining to you guys in detail the whole dancing line, all the moves, all the tricks, all the transitions in there to help you step up your longboard dancing game. For today's episode, you chose this clip. Watch. <laughs> Okay, so let's get into it. So in the beginning of the clip, I started with some carving and cross step. So I'm using that steps to keep the carve going. So just to explain uh, that carved cross step, that helps me actually keep my speed going. That's why I don't do the cross step straight. Here, I started with putting both feet on the edge of the board. That will allow me to keep on carving and preparing for my cross step. The first carve on the left, on the right, on the left, and here I engage my first cross step. So what I did here is a body rotation and instead of landing on the board like it was a pirouette, I used my back foot here to push. I do this a lot because it helps me to keep the speed up. So body rotation here and that back foot, I used it to push. Then I put it behind my front foot and here I'm in a sort of cross step position. And then I took my front foot off the board and use it again to push. I just want my push to be a part of the dancing line and, and figure out uh, something like a move uh, to make it look better. Once I pushed, so I'm gonna put that front foot again on the front of the board. Here I am in a, in a cross step position. I uncross that step by getting my back foot in the front of the board and here here I, I felt that I had enough speed to go to the other uh, either transition or trick so I'm gonna reach my nose here and here I'm gonna do a 180 pivot so for, for those of you guys who are struggling with the with this basic uh, trick the 180 pivot it's simple so you just have to think about it as a two steps trick so the first step is gonna be your upper body and the second step is gonna be your feet. So here, as you can see, the first step is here. I'm gonna throw my arms, actually. So my upper body will help me start initiate that move and that will help my feet to get that board doing that 180. So my first step is gonna be throwing my arms here. And the second step is doing that 180 with my feet. The second step here, I'm gonna use my front foot to pull the board here. Here I'm pulling the board with my front foot and I'm pushing it with my back foot. Okay, and here I finished my 180. I'm gonna put this again for you guys to see the whole action. Step one, I throw my arms. Step two, I pull with my front foot, push with my back foot. Okay, so here is actually a combo. The combo starts with the 180 that I just showed you. And then I do that trick and I finish with another 180. So that trick is kind of transition between the two 180s. So here when you finish the 180, you are in a switch position. So you are not in your natural position. So what you're gonna do to be back on that natural position is to pull the board behind you with your front foot. So this is what I did here. And then jump off the back foot, do a body rotation, 
keep that front foot on the board so that that's gonna be the foot that will keep you balanced and then reach the nose directly and finish with that 180 again so I'm gonna play it again for you 180 then I pull the board behind me I do the body rotation reach the nose and finish with the 180 so here I did a trick called look back so the look back is a trick but also is a way to disguise that push and keep your speed up once I finished that 180 obviously you can see that I lost a lot of speed so to regain that speed I turned back my body and used my back foot to push back put that foot on the board like I was going to do a cross step once I put that back foot on the board I'm gonna directly pull off my front foot and use it to push again here I finished on the board in a switch position so to get back to my initial position and keep on doing other tricks I'm gonna jump on my back foot push again with my front foot to regain speed do a body rotation here okay so here I did a sort of half a pirouette and then pushed again and got back on my initial position so this is a it's not really a trick but it's a transition that will help you keep your speed and right after this or here in that exact moment I felt that I had enough speed to go for another trick so what I did is that I initiated the spin I'm not gonna explain in detail the spin since I already did it so you can go check out the episode one so here to finish that spin I throw the board and finished with a hand trick here. This hand trick is a variation of the Iro grab. So here I'm in a switch position. So what I'm gonna do is to push with my back foot. So as you can see, the front foot did, didn't do anything. So my back foot will push the board towards my switch hand, so my left hand and your right hand if you're goofy I'm gonna use both hands to grab the board and make sure that it's not gonna slip but obviously you can do it with one hand the first step on the floor is gonna be my front foot remember that foot that useless foot in the beginning so I'm gonna push with my back foot and use that front foot to step on the floor grab the board make a step forward do another step with the that back foot and at the same time here i'm rotating that board i'm flipping the board with my hands and i'm gonna jump off this foot so the initial back foot throw the board here so once i touch the ground with my back foot so once i do that second step i'm gonna throw the board just keep it finish the rotation and I know that it's gonna rotate just enough to be able to land on it so I'm gonna play it again for you guys to see so the whole action spin and then I throw the board and finish with that hand trick boom and this is how I constructed this dancing line well that's it for today's episode if you guys have any question, shoot them in the comment section and I'll make sure to answer them. If you liked the video and found it helpful, drop a thumb up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.